What's going on, y'all? So this is gonna be a pretty raw video here, just kind of jumping on the iPhone camera and talking about life and, and where things are at right now. So if you happen to watch the last video, it was a mini documentary that my brother and I had put together. And it was really cool to be able to share the experience of pain and really the process and, and what pain can do as a teacher. And I think in this life, it's really about being able to understand and to draw awareness toward what's happening uh, all throughout the experience. And it's not always obvious, right? And the example I'll give is two and a half years ago, it was April 2nd of 2022. I'll never forget it. I woke up and I had this kind of tingling sensation in my left leg in my shin I didn't think much of it and then it started to kind of bug me on a more regular basis and I had been running a lot up until that point so I just thought it was shin splints or a stress fracture I didn't really know what it was and I'm still feeling different parts of that to this day and I've learned inside of that journey that while I've tried to do a lot of physical healing, I've done physical therapy for the last year and a half. I started seeing a movement coach to work on different movement strategies for my body. And I've really taken to, you know, like I've always taken to the gym to try to figure out what's going on. And, and just, you know, sometimes I, I can almost like go there too much and, and put too much unnecessary stress on my body. But I've recently turned a corner on that and I've realized that it is maybe something that I need to slow down and focus on what's happening internally. I need to breathe more, right? Take more full, deep breaths and just get to that level of moving the breath from up high, like from my from my head and from my neck and from my chest. And, and down lower, right, to, to lower regions of the body through the diaphragm and just take those full exhalations and, and inhalations. And, and I think that we get to moving so quickly that we forget to become aware of what's happening on the inside. And so I'm just starting to realize how important it is and truly important it is to take those deep breaths and just be still and find that peace and quiet inside of each day because if we don't learn to be at ease, then there may very well start to unfold or or there may be a process where you start to feel some dis-ease and the word disease actually is, uh, it's the opposite of being at ease. And so we, we think that once we start feeling the pain, we try to treat that and, and it's the, we, we treat the symptom oftentimes, right? For example, pain pops up in my shin. I start to do exercises for the tibialis and I start to do exercises to try to, you know, pinpoint that pain from the shin and what, what's happening. And I realize that pain is in different parts of my body. It's actually coming from sciatic nerve. It's, it's actually coming from parts of my hips that have grown to be tight and held on to some stress. And so it's a whole different series of things that can be happening in your body and in your life externally and internally that can create this level of stress. But the fact remains, we need to be able to understand where the root of that is coming from. And this journey for me has developed into understanding the root of where things are coming from. And so the healing process has had to go a lot more deep than superficial and it's not always from moving faster or speeding up that we're going to tackle an issue or even doing more and in fact we may just need to do less and we may just need to draw some more presence into our life to realize okay this is what's going on and this is what I need to start focusing on and when we start to create that clarity and we build an intention in our life and we add a level of attention to our intention, if we can focus on that for a longer period of time, we can start to hold our gaze on what truly matters. We can start to hold our focus and our attention on that intention. We'll start to really 
understand and create the life that we've wanted to create or we'll start to address the pain that we've wanted to solve for. And this is something, it's so much easier said than done and we need to put the phone down. We need to put the, sometimes we need to put the work down, uh, all the other stuff we think we need to be doing or the stuff that we ultimately have to prioritize. And so again, this is a journey, something that I continue to evolve in. It's a process of self-discovery and it's a process of loving the parts of you that you may have previously found shame in or you've been ashamed of. And so, yeah, just like loving all parts of the journey is so important. And so I believe in y'all. I believe in you and your ability to grow. I believe in you and your ability to adapt and to overcome challenges and to do hard things in life. And we're in this together. So let's keep moving. Let's keep going. And let's just continue to love every step of the journey instead of that just that destination or that ultimate outcome. Let's learn to love the process. I got y'all. I appreciate y'all. And I'm super grateful for y'all. Talk to you soon. Peace.